Welcome back. In this video we're going to have a look at a couple of tools for selecting by colour. So the first one is this one which is the fuzzy select tool or the uh, magic wand tool if you uh, know Photoshop. So what we're doing is uh, we click and based upon the colors that seem similar it selects an area so you can see this side of this pear shaped thing is here if I click down here it selects different colors if I try it on the melon it selects colors the same as whatever I've set it to now you can control using this threshold over here how similar a color has to be before it actually makes it uh, makes it the same so if I click on this now you can see that it's actually getting nearly the entirety of the melon if you, this threshold value is too high you'll select too much and if the threshold value is too low you'll select too little most of the time I'd recommend going for low so maybe we could go down to here and if I select this pair for example in exactly the same way as we did for the other tools up here we can hold down the shift key and we can add to our selection we can use the other tools with this as well so I can just click into here and very quickly I start to build up a more complete view of the pair and just on the edge there and if you have a little bit left over that you can't quite seem to get, you can always come with the free select tool, hold down the shift key again to add. And that's got rid of that. So now I can copy it. I'm using keyboard shortcuts, control C and control V. And now I can move that item just fine. There we are. So that is the select um, with the fuzzy select tool. Uh, it's a really great tool just to get started with cutting things out of backgrounds. There's also a couple of other settings in here. Probably the most important is anti-aliasing. This means that it takes a line at the edge where it kind of if you've got two pixels of different values uh, it, it kind of averages them out a little bit to give you a smoother line and feather edges kind of blurs the edge if you turn that on it lets you set how much you can have a play around with this you can also select particular channels but that's going to be more adva too advanced for most people the other thing we've got up here is we've got a uh, select by color and again this has got a threshold and you can do this with the magic wand tool in Photoshop by unticking the contiguous option but what this does is it does exactly the same thing as the uh, magic wand or fuzzy select as they call it here but actually it selects right across the whole image. Now that might not seem useful, but if we change our image to, for example, this image of me, you can see I've got this big white space around me, and I've also got this space in here by my glasses. If I just click, then you can see that it's got the selection right around me, and it's also got the selection in my glasses there. And so I can once again use the brush tool and I can quite quickly shade right across me and you can see it's actually put the little values in. The little white halo you can see around me uh, isn't down to my virtue or anything like that. It's actually just because um, the threshold value I selected was a bit too low. If I took the threshold up that would work just fine. So that is very simply fuzzy select tool and the select by color tool. Check back and I will go through the scissors select and finally the foreground select tool. Thanks for watching.